Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Donna. We're in Oakland, New Jersey. We met in 1992. She was a freshman, I was a sophomore, and I was scoping out the new freshman coming into the dorm. And I walked past her room and I stopped. I did a double take. And I said to my best friends at the time, I said, I'm going to date that girl. I did not think <laughs> that. Not at all. He was typical frat boy. And I was goody two-shoe girl. I just knew she was the girl for me. And she was the type of girl that you could bring home to mom. And that's exactly what I was looking for. We're in Oakland, New Jersey, which is where Mike and Donna Meir and their daughter, Michaela, live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Michaela is my absolute everything. I don't know if I can explain the feeling of unconditional love. She's she, perfect. Yeah, she she's listens, really she plays, she's loving. We're often seen cruising the uh, boulevard. It's not really a boulevard, but we go up and down the street. And I said, you know, honey, you're the only person who was ever inside of mommy and will hear my heart from inside. Where she's funny, she goes, can I go back in? <laughs> no, 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 that's not gonna happen, <laughs> but it's so true. What do the X's on this particular line plot represent? Donna is a sixth grade math teacher. From all accounts, Donna is one of those superstar teachers. Everybody who knows her loves her. I teach at Fieldstone Middle School. It's in Montvale, New Jersey. So take a quick peek through your packet. I was diagnosed with ALS September 27, 2012. It was awful. I mean, you couldn't have had worse words escape a doctor's mouth. We had been discussing having a child. I looked at him and I said, no kid, I'm sorry, I'm not bringing a child into this. Well, we didn't know. I was already pregnant at that time. It was like the lowest low to the highest high. It, it was the conundrum of emotions. Look what she's gonna have to go through. Every day is a new challenge with this disease. You don't know what's gonna work when you wake up. Mike and Donna, they just scrambled. They put together a bedroom for their daughter and at the same time started retrofitting their house. The last thing that they have to do is the bathroom. But here's the, here's the caveat, they have one bathroom in their house. It's not old, it's not antiquated, it's just not functional for somebody in a wheelchair, it's too small. It's pretty dangerous for me to get up and risk falling to brush my teeth, use the facilities. I can now park my wheelchair next to the bathtub and fall in, but I can't get out. <laughs> I'm very concerned about the bathroom safety because if she slips, she's gonna get very hurt. If George can come and rescue the fear that I feel inside on a daily basis, that would be magnificent. Hey, Donna, Mike, how's it going, guys? Oh my God. I am uh, George Oliphant, Mike, right? Yeah. Donna, yeah. Michaela. Do you know who this is, Michaela? Oh my goodness. That's George. I heard your story, and I'm so sorry for what you guys are dealing with, and uh, we're gonna give you the bathroom that you need and that you deserve, a beautiful bathroom for you too, Michaela. It's gonna be beautiful. Can you say thank you? Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. So to help us out on this rescue, I've got Rob Tell from IntelliBuild. He's gonna be our GC. He's gonna take care of all the nuts and bolts. And then to really make this place just totally sparkle, I got Tyler Whistler, George Rescue alumni. I'm just kind of excited to see what he does with the space. All right, so Rob, Tyler, this is currently the Mirror's bathroom. And as you can see, it's unusable really for uh, Donna. She can't get in here. Absolutely, this is very inaccessible for her to get around, not functional at all. Definitely need a shower. Well, I think the good thing about this is that we've got enough space that if we just blow these things out, we've got that radius turn. Rob, I don't know what you think, but maybe we can actually take this and recess it back. I don't know what's behind this wall. Michaela's closet is on one side. The other option would be the kitchen, which is a much larger project. Not sure we want to get involved with that. So really the biggest issue here is this cabinet. The oven is built into here, and so this totally screws up her accessibility. Yeah, that really juts out pretty far. We got to move this, which means we got to move the oven, which means that we got to move this wall, which means that it's What are you saying? Anyone down for doing the kitchen? 
George the Rescue is sponsored in part by Coldwell Banker. Find your place to call home at coldwellbanker.com. All right, guys, I'm feeling good. So what do you say? Kitchen, bathroom, and bedroom? Are we up for this? Let's do it. All right, let's start this rescue. Nice. I mean, a kitchen makeover, that's beyond. And I think the accessibility from the living room to everywhere that Donna needs to go in the home, that's really the biggest part of this. All right, you guys ready to do some demo? Let's get this rescue started. How psyched are they gonna be to get a new kitchen? They're gonna be surprised. And she, and you said, why do I need a hard hat? So now we have to figure out how we're gonna lay out the new kitchen. We gotta make sure that the new kitchen caters to what Donna needs. So no more wall oven, we're making it all accessible. So we're opening the whole thing up. Oh, you guys wait for me to put my hammer down? You have all the fun. I'm just kidding. Uh, Tyler's got demo down. This is like down. the hardest part of the job, isn't it? <laughs> nah. OK, so there. It was time to say goodbye to that kitchen anyways. You're gonna like the new one. All right, so I think the whole idea in here, right, is just gut it because tub is, is obsolete and then this wall is the one we gotta be careful with, right? This is the only one, has all the plumbing in it, yeah. but uh, everything else is going. How's it going in there? All right, tub, one by eyes. You know, it's not really until you open up all the walls that you can see how a house is built, what's right and what's wrong. Now, this plumbing right here, we really need it actually inside the wall cavity. So it protruding like this is gonna cause us some problems. All pipes in a house are attached. And if you cut one, you've gotta be prepared for a chain reaction. George the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information about 3M products or to find a retailer near you, go to 3M.com. So when we ripped out the kitchen cabinetry, which we weren't planning on doing, but now that we have, we gotta deal with what's behind it. And uh, the vent pipe, which is supposed to be in the wall, is actually in the cabinetry, meaning we gotta cut it out somehow, some way, the stack's coming out. I hope nothing's flammable because there's gonna be some sparks. I like to see Rod making the house smarter, right here with the doorbell. Absolutely, this is a uh, camera and intercom doorbell. So basically what, it just goes on right here like this, and the camera tells her who's here, like through her iPad or her phone or whatever she's using. Exactly, it's gonna be great for her, she doesn't have to get around the house to see who's at the front door. It's awesome, it's all about independence. What's up man, how's it going? So Tyler, we got a semi here from Wayne Tile. What exactly are you putting in this house? They've actually given me a few options that I really like. So I had them bring it all here to see what works best and then you just get to install it. So George, you were asking about the subway tiles. Yes, we, we, I understand that you're doing both the planks and the subway tiles in thirds. So with thirds, your eye's bouncing around. So you can kind of get away with things being slightly off, but still look in alignment. Okay. It's all math. It's a lot of math. Who's got a calculator? A nice, fresh, white cabinets from Cabbage Rec USA. It's really changing the whole look of the space. Absolutely. Much cleaner, much more efficient. Stone surfaces straight out of East Rutherford, New Jersey. All right, you ready? Is that a bigger one? Good. Throw it on my back. Oh, let me just stretch real quick. Look at that. Perfect. Mm. 
help me put the finishing touches on all the smart home upgrades that Rob and I did in this house. I got Sonia from Coldwell Banker stopping by. Hey, Sonia. Hi, George. Welcome back to the Mears house. Thank you. So I understand you actually were the one who to sold them this house yes. when, they, when they first moved to this neighborhood. Uh, yes, I was. Donna and Mike have had tremendous changes in the past few years. Now, with George to the rescue and the smart home technology that uh, Cobble Bankers is sponsoring, that is perfect for Donna. We put in cameras, doorbell, right. uh, lights, locks, yes. thermostat, and with this, she can She'll control be able it all. To control it. Cobble Banker has introduced a smart home technology package across the United States. And in the future, it's going to be something that the buyers are going to be looking for in homes, and especially in this case with Donna. She will be able to control everything at her fingertips. It's yes. all controlled right, right. there? Well, let's bring it back it does everything energy. that the thermostat does. It's right. fantastic. So this is Fieldstone Middle School. Let's go check in on Donna. And Maybe pick up some math skills. George is coming to school today. Everyone is super excited. We can't wait to see and hear what's going on with the house. Hey, Donna. Or I guess since I'm at school, is it, is it Mrs. Muir? Whatever you choose. I saw the students Good outside. To Good to see you. How are things going at the house? I'd say the house is it's going along very smoothly. I'm happy. Well, working on my house, I bet you're so good at math. I'm good at math. I'm not not good at math. I can do math. It's when I'm put in these situations where people are like, I need an answer right now. I think you should prove the math skills for the pop quiz. I'm going to need a pencil with an eraser. George seems to fall into the category of test taking, where there's a lot of nail biting and hair fidgeting. <laughs> is, is it hot in here or is this just me? Listen, I know you're really good at math. Can, can you please help me? What about you? Guys. Uh, eyes on your own paper. I'm sorry, Donna. Uh. Pencils down. Not bad. Great job. You do know math. Oh, sweet relief. I passed the test. School is out. I can do math. Let's go back to the house, talk to Tyler, show him what's up, and get this project finished. So I am stoked with the way the kitchen turned out. Rob and his crew did an amazing job. They really brought forth that vision that I thought the kitchen could be, and it's, it's there. Obviously, we have our, our canvas here. We have, you know, all these new appliances from Aga. So Aga and Marvell are sister companies, and they complement each other really well. So this provides a, an entire suite. And I love the little touches that you did to make sure that it's just not a kitchen, that it was a kitchen for Donna and for the family by putting the sink so it's recessed so that she can actually get under it. And I made the decision to do this carbon faucet from Kohler because she can sort of angle it at the best position that works for her. So from what I understand, Donna told us that Michaela doesn't like sleeping in a room. I don't know why that is, but maybe, just maybe, if we make that room really special and inviting for her, she'll want to sleep in the room. So it looked like she loved pink. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to create sort of a feature wall. Maybe break this wall up into maybe fifths, because it's always nice to work with odd numbers. Okay. And this will stay the same color throughout, right? No. Of course not. Of course not. Well, Rob, I love how Rob's just gotten quiet. He's just like, he's, just, he's, just he's like, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna assume. I'm, I'm taking in the design so we can figure out how we can do it. Good answer. <laughs> There's no way we could pull off Tyler's feature wall without the help of Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. Anytime you're gonna paint, you want super sharp paint lines, that's what the edge lock ensures.
So I think Michaela's really going to love what we've done. The day bed is going to free up a lot of floor space. It's going to make it accessible for mom to come in. She's going to love it. Oh, you're going to break the I know bed I am. I know that I am. we just got. <laughs> do, you, do you actually like the, key, the uh, colors? Um, I was thinking it's a little sort of like Neapolitan ice cream. It's very Neapolitan ice cream. Who doesn't love ice cream? Who doesn't love Neapolitan? Nobody. Yeah. Aren't these cool? These are like little twinkle lights, and these actually go up in there, so it looks like kind of fireflies hanging out in this canopy. All right, so how are we hanging them in there? Though? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't really know. I mean, I can stand here all day like this, but I'm just curious where they go. And you look really good standing there like that. Yes, I feel, you know, I feel very zen. So the project went great. We gave them a, a great space. It's nice, it's clean, it's a little more modern. The most important thing, it's much more functional. Donna will be able to get around the house, get where she needs to go, when she needs to get there. I think Michaela will be super happy with her room as well. What's up, Mike, Michaela, hey, Donna? How are Hi, you guys? You? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Hi, Donna. Hi. What do you say we go inside and see what we did? Let's do it. <laughs> are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, welcome home. Oh my goodness, what's that, baby girl? Wow. Welcome home. <gasps> <laughs> Michaela, do you recognize this place? Oh my goodness, what's that, baby girl? Wow. That wasn't part of the plan, George. When I came through the front door into the house, I, I just immediately went speechless like I am right now. Look at this. Michaela, whose house is this? My. This looks like a seashore resort. The shock and the surprise and utter delight, words can't express. Crazy, excited. We also wanted to make sure that the house was smart and that it gave you independence and met your needs. So we got this little George Rescue iPad here for you. What this does is that it'll allow you to use your doorbell, that we have cameras so that you can see what's going on around the house. We got your thermostat, everything is on here. Um, but there's one thing I gotta show you. I hear that you're a fan of trolls. Well, guess what we got here, my friend. Hi, Mirror Family, it's Zoe Deschanel here. Welcome home. In my new movie, Trolls, we focus on the importance of helping others and spreading the love. Donna, I know that you channel this every day. I'm so excited for you to see what George and his team have done for you. I hope you all enjoy your new spaces. They look amazing. I also want to invite you to a special screening of Trolls, and I hope you enjoy it. Mwah. And you guys all get to go and see the movie. Sounds oh, like a good time. You going to see a special huh? movie? What do you think? Want to go see a movie? You want to go see that movie about Trolls? Yeah. The reason we came here in the first place was because you needed a new bathroom. So uh, what do you say? Shall we head down the hall? Let's go. All right. Oh my goodness. Holy cannoli. <laughs> Mommy can roll what? in. This is our new house. This is our new house. Everything is new. I, I have no words. The comfort of being able to roll up to a sink and wash my hands or rinse my mouth or wash my face. Do you like it? Do you understand yeah. the depth of gratitude? Mommy's got up. Oh, mommy can get right to the sink. You say thank you, Mr. George? Thank you. You're very welcome. Give him a big hug. I can. Wow, okay, thanks. <laughs> You want to see what we do with your room? Do you have a new bedroom? <laughs> you want to see it? Get down and see. What? What? Oh my goodness. It's pink. It's what? pink. It's a princess palace. Look at this. A lot of, is there enough pink in here for you? Yeah. OK, good. The way she danced around in here and smiled. What? You like that? <laughs> Who is no. that guy? It was clear she was excited, elated. Home. Home. <laughs> yeah. Ah, look at mommy's 
hair. Michaela's a princess with or without this room, but this room is like the palace for the princess. Bye bye. Okay, bye. -bye. bye, -bye. I told you guys I, I, I couldn't do this all by myself. Started with our, our designer, Tyler, our contractor, Rob, Coldwell Banker. I know Sonia, your broker, way back when you bought this house, it takes a village, and this is the village that helped us rescue your house. Thank you for everyone who had a hand in this. We, had, we asked for a bathroom. <laughs> Wait till you see what we got. I'm not one that needs frills or the best of anything, but... It's safe now. You know, that's, a, that's the biggest thing. It's now, it's safe. On top of that, it's beautiful. <laughs> what <are you> doing? <laughs>